for in summer, where I would add it in the class would be towards the end of the dance class, say you did a cross the floor, you did a, an, an imaginative kind of uh, fantasy play activity, then I would add in the special in summer routine. Depending the age, the younger kids, I don't really tell them we're learning a routine because then they would they would switch another, like they would switch off and maybe not pay attention. The older kids, you could talk about how, oh, remember we were practicing our shuffle steps or our marches around. We're gonna incorporate that in the dance. So how what I would teach it, I would just do the whole dance with the music with them so they could just follow you. And if there are problem areas, that's when you would break it down as you would in learning a routine as an adult. <laughs> yeah. Which is how. Which is how. how okay. For so, those who might not know. Okay. <laughs> um, being, repetition is always a good thing in all forms of learning. So, for example, <laughs> Say you're teaching in summer and they're not really getting the cue to put their hands on their hips and do the shuffle step, shuffle step. That's okay because it's a pretty fast transition from in summer to hands on hips, shuffle step, shuffle step. I would then, after doing the piece all in one round and you see, oh, that's a problem area just come back to that particular section and drill it in their minds that you go from here to here. And you might want to do that three times in summer and hands on hips. And it helps singing shuffle step, shuffle step. And you could say the steps out loud. It's no, no harm saying the steps out loud when dancing, especially learning stuff because that helps you remember. Those are the tips you <laughs>